Hi, this is Shaman Weaver Sheila Baker. So this summer, I celebrate 22 years of getting out of what I'm calling now job jail. And it wasn't that um, I hated it. It wasn't the, any of that. Hi, Jennifer. But what it was, was I had a passion to do something else. So you'll notice that my nails aren't done, right? Because I've been feverishly working on the course for shamanic shape-shifting. I'm going to take my 22 years of information, the way that um, has helped me through times, and the fact that I'm a pioneer. And I, um, I lead the way so that other people who now want to get away from their jobs can do that because I've spent 22 years doing it myself and adapting and changing. And so, um, so I'm telling you because anyone can use shamanic shape shifting. Um, you don't have to want to get out of the job jail, but there's some kind of jail for you. And um, it's important, I think it's important that you live it with freedom. And I also believe that you, it's good to live in, br in, bl in bliss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in bliss. So um, if you're interested, please message me and see if what if shape shifting is for you and um speaking of shape shifting what's happening this evening is that um i'm going to i might be a little rusty so you'll have to uh excuse me but i'm going to go back and read for everybody tonight because um that just um feels honoring to me so um be patient and i'll catch up in a minute so anita what anita is right here she, she doesn't want to be seen, but we know she's there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she's the hand. Thank you, Jennifer. This one's for you. Mm, so, hey, Cindy. Um, and hi, y'all, before when I was talking. Um, a burden, Jennifer, is, uh, is actually about to be uh, removed on account of, this is 10, you're done. Um, the way that you're going to manifest this in the world is that you are going to get some uh, toothpicks or pickup sticks, if you know what those are, and you're going to take 10 of them, drop them onto a flat surface, and then look at them and see, are any of those mine? Just do any of them resonate? Thanks for the love. And if they do, well, gently get those out of there and take those the rest of them take something and put them into the trash those are not yours and since it's um happens that they're not yours you don't have to carry those burdens anymore there's a, a thing about carrying other people's burdens as a matter of fact and it's that if you're carrying their burdens they're not going to get their soul lesson so that means that um, something else is going to come up and they won't be, they'll neither be prepared for it because they won't have the nudges or the pokes or any of that. Um, so um, it's not like don't help people, don't misinterpret, but do not carry it. You know, don't carry them either. Just go with them by their hand. And um, that's, you know how, what a huge help that is? It's, it's amazing. So there you go. Thanks. Okay, catching up. Hi, Tara. Nice to see you. Okay. Ah, woo. Ah, this is a fun card because this is a Cancerian card, the moon. And this is the whatever uh, emotional things that are going on for you. Um, within this moon cycle that they will settle down the the dogs will stop baying the crawfish will go back into the water and so and emotionally you will end up feeling um well relief of course uh, this is major arcana so what i would say is whatever this is that you're going through um milk it for everything you can get because this is not a lesson that you need to um, draw more than once so um, 
this is this is what I call a blessing. This is when a lesson is a blessing. Or wait, here's a better description. When a blessing is disguised as a lesson. There you go. So this is your blessing. Uh, and this one's for you. I'm going to do this one left-handed. And this one way back here is calling out. I get to do yoga while I do this. Wow, what a lovely card. So... This is the bliss card. Hi, Bia, Melissa, Jennifer, um, Michelle. Nice to see all you guys. So, and this is the bliss card. Um, this is the very end of an emotional journey. Some fulfillment is happening here. <laughs> You've actually had to open up your arms, and you'll see here, look. Not only have you had to, <clears throat> pardon me, open up your arms, but you've had to embrace something emotionally. I don't know what it was, but, um, but you've, uh, yeah, that was, that was, yeah. And you've actually done it because this is the end of the cycle. So this emotional thing, whatever it is, um, yeah, <laughs> once again, it's like, you know, it's like, wow, there's all these blessings happening here. So, yes, use this as, um, oh, you know what? Use it as a catalyst to move back to love. I'm not sure what that means, but there you go. Avia, this one's for you. Ah, hmm. So, some indecision. And the thing that I like about this card is that you get to choose. And not only do you get to choose um, once, but you get the opportunity to have seven, seven different opportunities to choose. So it's as if, mm, <laughs> it's like a smorgasbord, right? Where there's all this yummy stuff seven things there um, you do not have to choose just one you can choose one and then try it out uh, I'm using try on purpose I have a uh, an anti try thing going on uh, and I think it allows you to fail if you tell yourself oh I'm, I'll try oh I don't want I tried well you either do it or you don't there's either you succeed or you don't um, so this back to this though so this that piece will help you so this um, indecision says it's all an illusion anyway choose the illusion you want the most there you go what a great tip I, I, I want that <laughs> Cindy hi this one's for you hey Monica nice to see you Ryan and okay Cindy, mm -mm, mm. so hold on a second. Okay, um, so when I picked it up, um, it was reversed, and I just automatically unreversed it. So I just checked in. You're meant to see it um, reversed. Mm. So what this says is that. It's, it's time for you to come down off of the cross. Now, what they mean by this is um, your life isn't meant to be struggle. You're not tied to this. Um, as a matter of fact, you know, like all of us, when we have a thing, um, um, a a way of being, a pattern that gets us something, then we tend to repeat that, right? And it, it works. But it also binds us to whatever it is that pattern is. So this says that, uh, this says that it's okay to, um, oh, <laughs> it's okay for you to, <laughs> to skip past this. Oh, that's brilliant. You know, when, um, when you're watching something um, uh, out there in Facebook land or wherever, and it says skip ad, that's it. So you can skip this. Oh, that's awesome. I love it when they give people stuff. Sandy, this one is for you. 
Ooh, the magician. Yeah. So this is the second card in the journey. So apparently, apparently you're on a journey because the first card is zero, the fool. So you've, you've done that. You have um, uh, taken that leap. And now it's time for you to ground it um, and to use wisdom, the air, uh, matched up with your heart. So that's the cups um, with the earth. Oh, yeah. So definitely they're saying definitely take off your shoes and walk the land. Um, know the territory is what they're saying. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> oh, money. <laughs> so, um, hold on. So it won't cost you a dime is what they're saying. So whatever, whatever this is, um, I hope that was useful for um, this new adventure. Michelle. Oh, here. Whoops. Mm. Oh, this, I love this woman. The thing that I love about this woman is that she um, gets an idea and it's just not an idea. She puts it into action. You know, this is something we all do all of the time. We get ideas and we act on them. You know, I mean, in just plain everyday stuff you know you fix yourself something to eat or whatever i mean that's the same thing she however is the queen so when she drops into your life it's very useful for you to look at your ideas you could even think about them <laughs> uh, because she's the queen and consider which ones because she, She's got many, right? She's the queen. Um, which ones are viable? And uh, there's a little cherub under there, see? And there's also butterflies. And there's also the moon. So you might take into account the phase of the moon when you start to uh, generate these ideas about how to uh, how to work with it the new moon is beautiful for that incubation you know like get 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 it started and then um, following through um, transformation definitely and you know what she sits on love that's beautiful very nice okay Melissa oops there we go this is this is awesome I get to um squat and come up <laughs> uh, Melissa so the lovers um, balance of the masculine and feminine um, seeing eye to eye and over top of uh, to vibe, um troubles oh Mm, more than that uh, walking walking through things uh, uphill like mountains um, but still standing their ground um, each their own individual and knowing that you know the divine <laughs> the divine has got their back I mean they're they're resting in that um, uh, and also um, Pay attention to August. So, there you go. Ah, Nina, how are you? Oh, you know, um, ooh, victory. So, oh, okay, just one second. Would you please write down Wendy? Thank you, Cindy. Okay, and if I don't say hi to you, it's because I'm doing this and you popping on and, and uh, I'm going to do my best to uh, get to as many of you as I can. Because you know what? This just makes me happy. My heart sings doing this. So, and I hope it um, is of service to you. Yeah, cool. Oh, yay. I got levels. <laughs> so, okay. Hang on one second. 
grown myself. Oh, Nina, sweetheart. Yes, victory. Absolutely. And it's um, the, the people, the resources, the help. Um, you somehow got them to gather together and move this forward. Now, um, I love to work on with higher selves. So I ask if there's something going on energetic, I ask my higher self to go out to whoever's higher self and please, please um, figure it out. And as above, so below. So these practices, when I, you know, when I um, suggest, try it out. You know, if you're having a challenge with somebody, ask your higher self to help, because they'll work it out in a way that you cannot. Work, we can't imagine. You know, other we'd be up there doing it if we could. <laughs> All right, so back to your victory. So. You know what I would do to really concretize that? Because to me, I really like to make things solid. Um, it's got to be practical. Uh, there's no point in getting information and then just going, well, that was interesting. Well, there's always something to do. So he's got laurel. So I would go out and I would find some laurel. And, you know, literally, well, I don't, um, I'm not sure where you are, but uh, if you're in the Pacific Northwest, it's blooming. It's the stuff that kind of has got a big smell. Um, the flowers are about that long and fluffy and kind of citrusy as well. So, um, and you can always just go um, Google it. So I go and get some of that. I go and get myself a spray. It's um, close to Bay. They're in the same family, bay leaves. There you go. Monica, hi. Okay, I appreciate you guys' patience. Conflict. Um, you know, the thing is that it's it's mental. I mean, what conflict isn't usually? Where does it all start, right? Um, so, hmm. There are three parties and um, of the five ways that uh, we're being tossed about only two of them are really viable the other so if you've been thinking about implementing something uh, and you've been tossing ideas around then I would say that you know um, it's oh here <laughs> it's almost like what you want to do is write them down on a sticky no or you know something a little piece of paper and take them and toss them up in the air and then see which one lands closest to you and then you know let the other ones go um and come to um come to terms with the way that that you really resonate with something because the way that we resonate with something is the way we think about it and you won't hear this very often because really and truly most people don't even know so when when you are resonating with something your brains involved too right so you begin to think that you know and that can be everyone's mantra as I resonate I think so you know you're going up and you're looking for mangoes and as I resonate I think because you're thinking mangoes right you'll be right on the most beautiful mango ever so conflict resolution uh, because it's a five and so what will happen is this lesson will um, it'll get learned and there's all kinds of easy ways to do that so Ryan hi oops there we go so another five <clears throat> and uh, uh, this is about the ability to be in a situation where it seems as if there's only despair and this is a physical world thing um, it could be that someone is is ill and um, there's the thinking is um, downcast as opposed to uplifted 
And <clears throat> so this is a, the middle of the journey of the pentacles, which is money and property and tangible things. So it could be that this uh, was a contract that has come to its end and um, there's lessons to be learned. Um, there's also, if you were to choose to, um, and this is just coming straight through, that you could um, lift up your chin, look around and see um, another solution, but it might be costly. So there you go. Barbara. Oh, brand new ways of thinking about things. Um, and the beauty of this particular card is it's a gift from the gods. And then look up here because, you know, and think about your crown chakra uh, because it's the crown, right? And um, hmm, that's, yeah, so not only not only is this a new way of thinking in the practical world but you might find that your connection to the divine also opens up um you know i was just talking about this a moment ago as we vibrate we think as or as we think we vibrate you know so if you're feeling a low vibe how, what do you do you think differently right you put on some music clickety split you you know in the old days i would get out the vacuum and a little grand marnier and away i'd go and by the time i was finished my little grand marnier the house was clean and i was fine so now we know to shift our energy we don't have to do that um we don't have to clean our houses <laughs> So, um, so here's the thing about this. This is a shift in the crown chakra. When we do that, then we open up to all the ideas that spirit is attempting to down, well, we call it down, Luna, to move through us. And so, um, that's, you know, that's a really lovely gift. So I'm not sure. Now, this is, this is um, a, a piece that I'm not clear about. I don't know. These are yods, and I don't know what that means. So that's my bad. And Anita, will you write me a little note? Okay. Hmm. Okay. So anyway, forgive me for not knowing that. And um, um, it, it's over there on a piece of paper, so I'll take care of that. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Becky. Hmm. Oh, so the old the cups, emotions. The old emotional way didn't work. It isn't working in the present and it isn't going to in the future cool thing about this is that there's a moon cycle involved and so when that happens um what the, you get the energy you get that energy of the moon leaning in assisting you in moving you out of that place that maybe you feel stuck you know i was there a couple of days ago well i was actually there earlier today and so what i did is i i went for a walk and i was like i am just in a funk and um so i walked for a bit and then there i don't remember exactly what it was but boom all of a sudden it was oh i know what it was um they told, they told me to be more like the cattails that were sticking up through the ramp when I, that when I was going out to walk to the edge of the lake. So there's a metaphor for you. So I don't know if, you, if I end up spiky, you can talk to spirit about that. So anyway, this way didn't work. And you're really, really fortunate because you're being told this right now. It isn't going to work in the future. And you know, the thing is that what the ways that we used um, just even um, a few months ago, they're not working anymore. And so it's, it's okay for us to, um, oh, check this out. I'm gonna talk about shamanic shape-shifting. So just one moment. Mm. 
So, hey, Joni, Chalice, Malcolm, nice to see you guys. Um, so, I was talking about my nails earlier and how um, I've been working diligently at crafting this shaman shamanic shape shifting course, and that it's been. Um, you know, it's. I've also been shape shifting myself. There was a time when this would never have happened, but as you um, become more authentic and be more okay with exactly who you are, and as I celebrate 22 years of having given up my, um, oh, I had a little office actually. I gave up my little office and went. I can't do this anymore. Um, so now I've taken everything that I've learned in that time about how to move graciously, hopefully, <laughs> in and out um, through the um, through the abyss, moving out of not knowing what the heck to do, but knowing that you've got to leave. You know, for me, I left in two weeks. Once, uh, once I went on my first vision quest, I was out the door in two weeks. Had not a clue what I was going to do. Well, here I am, 22 years old. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? No. <laughs> 22 years later, um, you know, I know how to how to maneuver through um, the anxiety that you have, so you can come and uh, be out here doing this if that's your jam. If it's not, but you want to shape shift from where you are to where you want to be, uh, and you'd want to do it quickly, and you're willing to take action in nine weeks, um, then message me because uh, I want to talk to you. So there you go. Anyway, back to work. That was cool. Good with me. So I'm supposed to be being bold. So that was my um, that was my bold adventure. So you can let me know how I did. Susan, here you go. Ah. Mm. When I see this card, I see such um, great fortune because this straight up tells you that anything that is holding you back, anything at all, doesn't matter what it is, is there, right up there, see those chains around, around their neck? You can remove them. And a beautiful shamanic way of doing this is to um, tie a scarf around your neck. And, you know, just whatever. Just a little scar. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to say, I remove the ties that bind me. I remove the ties that bind me. I remove the ties that bind me. Oops, the other way. <laughs> I remove the ties that bind me. So, seriously. And you, you can do it. You can do it a minute a day. You can do it for five minutes. The point isn't the length of time that you do it. The point is that you do it. And, um, you know, I have a rattle um, somewhere. Uh, I was talking about this um, uh, on a, another thing, about how I used a rattle to shake up some fibroids. And this was before I knew anything at all about shamanism. Uh, I just knew that I could do that. I just was like, I can do that. Um, so I wasn't tied, even though I was trained as a nurse. <laughs> even though they suggested that I um, that I have an organ removed, I went, mm, I'm not going to be bound by those idea. And so, I mean, this was decades ago. And so, you know, wrap it around your wrap it around yourself. And then I remove the ties that bind me. Um, you can do it all the way up to 40 times. Your arms will get a nice workout. And honestly, the more that diligent you are about this, the more those will be gone. Hi, Becky, Suzanne. Oh, uh, Cindy, yes. And Martha, nice to see you. Silly, this one's for you. Ah, juggling. Mm. The thing about this is that this is well known to you. 
as a matter of fact, um, you could, <laughs> you, it's so familiar that you brought it from one lifetime to this lifetime. So it's in the, um, it, it's in there. It's like, it, it can't go away, right? <laughs> so, hmm. your ship is coming in. And let me just see what they say about that. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, you're going to need to use your imagination for this one. Okay, so imagine that your ship is coming in. And uh, in order to get this loop to dissolve, you're going to imagine that your ship is coming in. And then you're going to imagine that on that ship is endless money. It's like a big old vault. And it never ends. It's just flowing, 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 flowing. So when you get into that, y'all can use this. So anybody who's got any blocks around money, about that juggling stuff. So, you know, just take a nice deep breath for a second. And thank you for, for this and for the ability to share it with everybody. So just take a nice deep breath. and see that infinity sign and then just see yourself being able to let it go like the whole thing you don't need to hold it anymore and you just back up from it there you go and then bring your hands together and rub your hands together and because it's an infinity sign it's going to keep going without you. So there you go. And uh, so we can just thank Spirit for that. That was beautiful. Sean, this one's for you. Ah, celebration. So of all of the cards, um, this is the Let's Party card. So it is, um, there's something emotional to celebrate. And it, um, well, you'll know what it is, but it, it, it is time for you to do that in case you haven't been. Amy. Mm, so, the King of Wands. You can notice that the wand is, um, <laughs> thanks you guys. Uh, the wand has life, even though it's being cut. So no matter that it's been severed from its roots, it still is going to keep living. There's a determination about the uh, the wands. Uh, you know, they're the the walking staff. Um, and down here, whoops, down there is a little lizard. Now lizards wake up your dreams, and so this king sits on a throne with lions, bravery, courage, and waking up your dreams. So what a beautiful partner, what a beautiful ally. And if uh, this was my card and I had something that I was wanting to move forward, I would, um, I would find out about this guy because he is, um, well, <laughs> he's diligent. He's like, looking right at this and he'll bring all his, his mastery to you there you go wendy mm. so there's um an emotional gift from the gods that is being offered however i think you think it's going to cost you something and so there's a um um, a lack of willingness to open to receive and um, you know we often um, ward off um, thinking that you know uh, if we're uh, if, if we look unavailable that will actually be unavailable but there's a beautiful thing about the heart the heart just has a little old mind of its own so 
um, so it goes out there and has an experience and then after that I'm just like not even thinking about that and uh, and then pretty soon you know oh there comes an offering because the heart is willing to go even one more time there you go here Kristen oh I'm going way back in there mm. Oh, hmm, page of pentacles. So, pages are sometimes thought of as young people. I look more metaphysically than that. I think about the pages as messengers. Um, so, oftentimes you'll hear, well, a young person is going to bring you a message. I more look like um, that, you know, there's a message to be had. So, then um, look everywhere. Don't wait for, some, for some, some young person to bring it to you. Start to look where the message is. Because while you're waiting, you're going to get a whole lot of other messages as well. So these, um, these pages are really beautiful for starting to um, look, to be vigilant, to be, um, at, oh, maybe there's even a call to be the messenger. Hmm. So um, that, that's very interesting because it would be um, a practical and it would also, this is money and property. So watch for, watch for something like that. There you go. Oh, um, hang on. So Gretchen, you're next. Mm. So hang on one second. Um, thank you. So there was a little note about um, for Becky's job research, but I don't know who that is. So if you want to pop a name in there, that would be awesome. And then just put your, um, Becky, just put your name behind that. That would be super. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you so much. Gretchen, how are you? Mm. Oh, the Knight of Pentacles. So, hmm, the thing about this, <laughs> so once again, money, property, tangible things. So he's he's got it in his hand, right? But do you see any movement there? Mm -mm. So the thing about this is this is a, a card where there can be really great motivation. And with motiv for me, with motivation, you know, I like some enticement, you know, give me some enticement. Um, how, why would I want to be there? You know, bring me forward. Now, you can use those big old spurs if you want to and give them a poke. But then there's this antagonistic relationship between you and the ride, right? So I say get a carrot. Figure out what it is that's going to... Um, Ah, what is it that's going to lure this person forward? And actually, you could think about this as looking for your why. You know, why, why do I care? Why would I want to move forward? I'm okay right where I am. But remember that he's a knight, so he's on a quest. We are never okay where we are. Think about that for a moment. You know, uh, where we are, if we're right in the moment, mm -hmm, but if we're where we are, we're always looking for a little more. We're human, you know? I mean, it's, uh, it's built, I, I like it myself. I love being inquisitive and what's next and all of that. So for me, I'm always on a quest. Uh, what can I learn? Um, what can I use? What kind of tools can I learn so that I can bring them to you? I mean, it's, for me, it's a beautiful thing. I believe that um, when you stop learning you start dying and I'm not about that so um, I'm a lifelong learner there you go Marguerite mm. abundance uh, uh, enough 
to um, pass on a legacy. And the beautiful thing about legacies is that they touch people, right? I mean, isn't that why why we're motivated to do things, you know, isn't this why, um, well, certainly why I, I'm here is like, you know, I'm motivated so that I can bring my gifts to you and you can, you know, um, benefit from them. And you can also go, Oh, you know what, maybe I could do that. Cause you can, <laughs> you've got unique gifts. If you're right here watching this, you've got them, whether you're um, hiding them or whether you're, you're uh, bringing them out I can help you bring them out so anyway this is about passing on a legacy and what I wanted to to see when I put it up close was that this is about touching everyone so you know my goal is to touch as many people as possible to reach out and touch this is done on the practical world so knowing that everyone is taken care of that um, you can provide for and the beautiful part about this is it's it's just a lovely card it's you know in the when I talk about the cups it's like bliss so this is like bliss on the physical world world whatever that is I mean it's still bliss right so this is physical world bliss so there you go Carrie Jo <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles well look at that I there I was going on about Pentacles so how cool is that <laughs> the thing about her is that she is um, well, a thing about a bunch of the pentacles is it's like there's a, a clutching. Uh, um, if I don't hold on to it, um, it's going to dissolve or something. And um, so she's a little bit fixated on it. And she might be missing some other parts of her life. You know, that's one of the things that I notice about each of the queens is that they are intent on their particular um, uh, element. And that intensity is kind of at exclusion. So you can use them when you really want to focus on something. You know, um, and and in right what I'm doing now, right now, this uh, writing this course and doing a curriculum. You know, I've never done a curriculum before. I've just taught. And uh, when I would arrive to do a 13 week class, I would just see what came up. I would teach about that and and shamanism wove right in there and all of that and so to sit and go and write oh i'm writing a curriculum the focus that this queen has on the practical world will serve me well now how that relates to you is that when you need her she has just made herself available to you so it might not be today it might not be right away. Ha, ah, that's good. I made a rhyme. It might not be right away, but she's available. So, um, and accessible. Find her on, <laughs> you can find her online. So, <laughs> what I mean by that, if this resonates with you, go and find this card online and in black and white, enlarge it and color it in. And if it sounds silly, then that's awesome because a lot of the things in shamanism to get an energy to shift from, from uh, dense to light requires something to be observed. When you're going to move dense energy, um, can you move it with, with more dense energy? No, they just mingle. So, but when you bring a lighter energy, a lighter vibration to this denser one, it starts to vibrate at the same and it begins to lift because higher vibrations very seldom move down into lower vibrations. 
that's my prayer anyway. <laughs> I'm going to vibe up myself. <laughs> James, this one's for you. Ah, despair. However, this is the end of despair. Okay. Um, when this person, uh, hmm, there's a thing about motivation. Okay. So let me see. Um, Oh, do you know what? Um, the, I just thought that you can write your way out of this. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, and they're like, and then like pour it out. Um, so there, <laughs> there's a tip right straight through the spirit, write it out and whatever else they said. Um, so this is the, this is the beauty of me being me is that when, um, when I'm here and doing this, um, a lot of times it isn't, well, most of the times in my life, it isn't really, it isn't the, it's not the shell me. It's, it's, it's whatever else is going on. So I, what I want to tell you is think differently. Everything, 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 everything could be um, shape-shifted. The moment you decide to think differently, when you make a choice that, oh, you know, maybe I could think differently about that. And you give a moment for another thought to come in. Or somebody says, you know, you start to think, oh, maybe I could think differently about that. And then you're, you know, out doing something, getting a coffee or whatever, and you hear a random comment, and it's like, whoa, wow, I never thought about it like that, because it'll come from wherever. So, and this is, this is a good place to really look at beliefs. Because beliefs keep us bound to unfulfillment, lack of fulfillment. They keep us bound to someone else's idea of who we are. So you can't fully express. Um, and so it's a good idea to look at your life and then look at your beliefs. And are they in alignment? Um, you know, sometimes I go on a rant and I look over, oh, I look over there, over there, over there, <laughs> and I see bliss and love and peace. And I'm like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> so, you know, I'm like, whoa, whoa. And there, it's a good thing it's on the wall. Put it on the wall. How you want to be, put it on the wall. Ah, Constance, hi. Mm. So here we have another night, the Knight of Cups. This knight is on a quest, and look, he's just slightly hesitating. So the last, the last night that we saw, we saw, hey Carl, hi Irina, Carrie Joe, you're welcome. Um, so the last night that we saw was needing to be coaxed. This one is just slightly hesitant and you know about our emotions we're often slightly hesitant right we don't make the first move we we uh we uh <laughs> and so this is exactly where this night is so if you really want to uh move forward with this with this search with this quest you have to use mercury now, Mercury is the Lord of Communication, so you have to go, go now, baby, and away he'll go. So, communicate. And, you know, the voice is a really powerful instrument, right? I was listening to, um, oh, I think maybe it was a TED Talk, and they were talking about um, that science had figured out that vibration affected the brain. And so I was just, it, I could barely contain myself because there's the old shaman with a drum, right? Putting his brain into a theta brain wave. 
um, which they've now scientifically proven puts you into an altered state of reality. And I was listening to these these. Um, these guys and they were like well we're gonna use this kind of music and I, I just got my drum out and went <laughs> so you know there they are and uh, it's very cool that uh, science is catching up I you know and I think what you're really going to find is that you're going to find that shamanism comes to do the healing and um, Oh, and I'm going to be bold. So I'm, I believe that deeply. Obviously, that's how I live my life. And uh, I believe that I can teach you how to, to live from spirit as well. So that was my boldness there. Uh, Malcolm, how nice. Oh, happy home. Mm. So years ago, decades probably, um, a couple of my friends used this card uh, for their hand fasting, and I got to be the best man. Um, so it was, uh, um, it was really beautiful. But this speaks to, I'll put it up close, this speaks to harmony, like the, the, and balance, you know, two on this side and two on this side and just to um, homey and I mean, look at it. It's just a beautiful card. So whether this is, um, and this is actually one. So, you know, passion, fire, drive, connection to the divine. So there, all of this has created this place that, um, you know, that, that resonates with you and it it also resonates with others so you might think about who do you draw there and how do they um, how do they align with um, who you are there you go Chilicia all right so I'm ooh you know what, I'm going to stay until 9 o'clock um, because this is, I'm just really enjoying this and I'm hoping you are too. And it's beautiful that spirit gets to have a voice. I think that's very nice. But I need to, um, I need to have one too. Mm. So I'm hoping that um, I'm... Uh, saying your name right. So here's the spelling, C-H-E-L-S-I-A. So this is for you. And the reason I wanted to make sure is because this is a spiritual wake-up call. And so this is coming directly for you, not for anyone else. And I wanted to make sure that you get this. It's not a wake, <laughs> it's not a wake-up call that you can miss. There is no wake. Um, you'd have to be in a coma and um, you're not because look it wakes up the dead so when I see this I look for I quickly <laughs> go right on let me get it quick um, because when I'm going to the next level when I am taking on more hmm uh, more information um, when I'm waking up and when I'm looking around and going oh is this the vibe I want to be um, and is this the vibe I want to be in is this the vibe I want to be because as you lift your vibration everything and everyone around you does now that's a spiritual awakening it it doesn't have to be uh, arduous um, and so this kind of a spiritual awakening and when you start to beam beam from your heart just to, um, think about this for a second mm. um, your heart radiates out everything radiates out 360 degrees right so if you talk to your little heart there and you say oh let's radiate out love and your heart is radiating out, oops, right out to the lamp there. Your heart is radiating out 360 degrees. And you're beaming that. What, what do you think happens? 
You know, everyone around you gets that because it doesn't just stop at, you know, at the end of your aura or whatever, you know, your skin or something. I mean, it goes out and it goes out and it goes out and it goes out and it goes out. Mm, the whole world basks in your um, open heartedness. So there, that's a beautiful shamanic tool. Joni, I hope you're still here. So I'm going to, there it is, going to me. I'm almost disappearing, looking, I can now do squats. Okay, up we go. Ah, uh, oh, of course, <laughs> the high priestess. So, mm. uh, so the beautiful part about this um, woman is that she is equid, she wears an equidistant cross. Now, in the olden, 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 olden days, um, there, the cross was equidistant because they, they knew, the ancient pagans, um, and they knew that they could connect to the divine. They were, they were equal, right? Plus. <laughs> you and me, plus. Um, and then... Um, uh, here's my understanding, so, you know, nobody quote me or anything. Um, I understand that then um, the religion got involved, and then they, um, the bar got raised, sort of. And that's how come we came to the other cross. But anyway, Joni, back to you. You're sitting between the two towers of good and evil, um, firmly with your um, your your gown, which becomes fluid and flows over the moon, but it stabilizes the moon. Her foot is right there. So this says that you move very fluidly in the world. Pomegranates are all around you. Fecundity, the ability to, to be generous, look generous, um, act generous, um, is, is beaming out. And it's here in the pomegranates. So this is a, um, <laughs> they're saying this is a mask you wear well. <laughs> so there you go. So yeah, um, yes, beautiful. Thank you. Suzanne. Mm. So moving out of uh, some emotional, but small. I mean, this one is really small. Um, but you know, here I got to tell you, um, I'll tell you fast. Um, when we go along in life, a thing that we thought we resolved because we went to therapy or we did whatever um, pops up again. Notice, however, that it's not as big as it was before. And that it's, you know, it's like this. It, it's only this big. And yes, there's some boo-boos going on. Um, and there's some ideas that are, that are stuck. It's not a good idea to unstuck them now. Don't do it yet. Wait until you get way over here. And then reassess. You know, as a matter of fact, you can leave the whole dang uh, raft right there because what good would it be? It won't work on the other side. And maybe that's, oh, I've never said that before. So there, so there you go. <laughs> the way you're thinking now won't work on the other side. So this, this thing that uh, you're moving through is a thought process, may manifest in the physical world. You know, you might find yourself on a little journey over water. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a shift. Yeah. It's like, Oh, here's, here's what they're saying. They're saying, imagine that you're down shifting. Okay. Maybe that's kickstarting a memory or something. There you go. Martha, this one's for you. Hmm. <sighs> So five, fives are lessons, and this particular lesson here is one of um, 
kind of standing your ground. When when I see this and it, and it comes up, I'm going to put it up close. You can see that there's keys and then there are um, monks who are coming forward. The person here is an authority. Now, the things, you're welcome, Suzanne. The thing about being an authority is the word author, authorize, all of those things come from writing your own ticket. So, you know, when there's that, the whole visualization thing and you write what you want and all that, this goes beyond that to say that you have the keys. Now, this is, um, this is like a no fail. When this shows up, if there's a lesson here, you bet, of course. There's always lessons. There's one every day. Um, and uh, and you, you're, you're seeking information that you already have. So there's a gestalt here. <laughs> so you can do, um, you can sit, put two chairs, and you can sit with a notepad in each chair, and you can sit and write whatever in this one chair, and then hop over to the other chair and write from this perspective. Now, it's a very, it's a very bizarre thing to think about, but a change in perspective, and you become your own author. Um, and if we all, including me, if we all understood that and we began to craft our life from, you know, I'm going to write this down. Um, it's the moment you write it down, it puts it into the world. You concretize it, speak it, it puts that vibration out. So I think that's a beautiful thing myself. Oh, I got to go. Oh, my goodness. I'm over. Hold on. Okay. You know, truce, I'm going to go all the way to truce and then I'm going to stop. So, um, so hold on, everybody. Here we go. Scott, this one's for you. I hope you're still here. The hermit. I won't be so wordy anymore. <laughs> we'll see. So, the hermit. So, this says that um, take time to look within. And even if it's something like just three hours, you know, if you can carve that out, but do it without any equipment, you know, nothing, just you and the emptiness and be willing to see what comes forth. If you can do it for longer, by all means, if you can hermit and if you can find yourself a retreat where you can hermit good on you but even small ones just like I said you know three hours is it's a mind shift absolutely so find some time to um, be away and then you know what you're gonna come back and be the light something will be illuminated for you Irina this one's for you Oh, the emperor. So lots of beautiful ram energy. And notice his scepter up here. Oops, over here. <laughs> it come, He comes from love. And um, it, he's one of my, well, they're all my favorite, but he's one of my favorites. Um, the reason that I like him is that he has this, um, he has this energy that he will get up for you and go kick some booty because look at those and he's willing to do that but he also says you know what um i um i know when to growl and when to bite and so this is this is a caution for and this is good for all of us this is a caution for um us when we hear something and before we've heard it all out we're like we're at it again. So uh, there you go. Carl, this one's for you. Mm, things are moving swiftly. And wands, passion, fire, draw, drive, connection to the divine. You put some things in motion a while back. And the reason I know that is because we're all the way up to the eight. You launched them and they've peaked, but they haven't landed yet. So whatever they were, look for them to land. Um, they're coming. So this is this is like um, a beautiful preparation card for you. So there you go. 
Mm. So I just want to tell everyone that um, after that came after truce, that I appreciate you showing up, but I've been doing this for over an hour, so I'm going to say goodbye after truce. So thank you for showing up, and um, next time I do it, I'll be happy to read for you. Um, Darcy. Ah, the chariot. Ooh. So I'm teaching shamanic tarot, and this was, oh, thanks for the love. I was teaching shamanic tarot, and we were talking about the charioteer today, and about taking reins, and about um, resolving the conflict. So the thing about the charioteer, he's kind of going off half-cocked. He, His feet are not on the ground, and he his head is in the clouds. There's no reins, and so <clears throat> he can't move these beings in any direction um, because, well, first of all, they're not looking in the same direction, so that wouldn't work. But this is a call out to take the reins, and this is, um, this is kind of a, a call that I feel that a lot of us are getting. It's time to take the reins, to be the creator, the creatrix of your life, and, you know, grab on, and there you go. Okay. April, this one's for you. I just read something, no worries or something. You know, of course you do. So look at, you got, I get, um, oh, that's so sweet. Or you take care of my voice. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so I'll have a, a London fog afterwards. That They're very yummy. So, um, April, you seeded some things um, before, and thank you for being so considerate. I love that. Um, and you they're all growing. One of them is ready, but the rest of them, they need some, um, they need some tickling. You know, I was thinking about this the other day. I was working on a, a project, and, and I was like, so what, what does it need? And I'm like, oh, it needs me to, like, like get in there and tickle it to not go at it like this but to to go in there with the playful energy so this says you know they're they're all doing really 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 well be happy about this and then you know lean on your hoe for a while so there you go thank you by the way truce this one's for you. And thank you all for showing up after truce. And I'm going to pop off after that because this will be like, oh, I think this is my record. This is 70 minutes nonstop. What a hoot. I wasn't meaning to do this. <laughs> but apparently I couldn't stop myself. Okay. So <laughs> truce. <clears throat> this says that... Um, this is the money, property, uh, tangible things. Um, this is it's on your mind and in your in your um, you're holding on to it, and you have some underfoot. The thing about this is that um, put some into play. And the reason that I say this, and um, is that when we um, when we take that which we want, and we move it out, um, more of it comes. But it's like if our, if our fists are held tight, I can't put anything in there. The reality of this card um, is that there's stability here. And when you come to know it, then everything is in flow. But, you know, so many of us are in that crazy toxic scarcity thing. Uh, we've been around for decades, <laughs> you know, and we're all the way to here. And we, we question um, our ability to go into the next day you know, or the next month. And I think it's always nice to reflect back and go, well, I made it this far and, you know, I'm still walking and talking. And so congratulate yourself for that. 
I also want to <clears throat> entice you into looking into shamanic shape-shifting. And um, I take you through a beautiful process that I have beta tested twice now. And I put 22 years into this study. I didn't know it was going to be that, but that's exactly what it is. And there's a process that I take you through that uses altered brain waves. So you move into an altered state of consciousness and you gather information there. Now, science is supporting this um, and saying that there's rhythms and so they're looking for the sounds and so the monotonous drum beat is, is that sound so pardon me for a second so <clears throat> I'm going to put a link up for you if you want to the way that this is going to work is that I'm going to um, have a conversation with people who are interested we're going to see if energetically we're a match and if what I have to offer is what's right for you and then from that place, we'll move on to talk about um, about what's the course and when we're going to start. My prayer, I'm putting this out, my prayer is that we begin um, before the end of the month. So bless everybody. I'll put the link up for you. Thanks for showing up. Bye-bye.